Get out of my trash can. It's my trash can. That's not straight. There we go. Lopsided head. Welcome to your vape at five. I'm your host. Let me get situated. I'm Black Cat. I'm here. I'll tell you, I have got Addy Tooney. How are you? First off, how you doing? Secondly, I have got a show for you today. Listen, this show will be like no other show you've ever seen in your entire life. This is YouTube history being made today. Right here, Vape at Five. You're in, you're witnesses to it. You're a witness to it, Wood Tick Mike. You're a witness to it, and, and I'm happy for you that. I'm happy for all 19 of you that showed up today to watch the show. You, you're watching YouTube history in the making. I got a new hat. See my new hat? It says Columbia, but it's just black. I like it. I think, it, I think it's, uh, I think it's, I, I think it's nice. You like it? I think it fits me well. It covers up the gigantic monstrosity that is this part of my head. Now, if you don't know, that's what I'm dealing with up there. And that is the reason I wear a hat. Thanks, everybody, for joining. I really, really appreciate it. I've got a great show for you guys today. I've got a fantastic feature builder. We're featuring Robert, who is the great Wombatsky. Now, if you don't know Robert, you really should. The guy is... You want to talk about people who are all in on the community and somebody that is uh, always supportive of not only uh, builders and the building community, but also YouTubers. This is, this is a guy who watches all the shows, um, comments, and, and is encouragement to everybody. No matter what you're doing, he's encouraging to you. And no matter what capacity you're in, whether it's building or YouTube or whatever. And today we're going to turn that around because he never asked for anything. He never asked for anything, honestly, but today we're going to turn that around and we're going to uh, pay homage to him and put him in the spotlight for a little bit. So I'm really, really excited to do that and just absolutely adore the guy. So uh, very, very happy to do that. How is everybody doing? I had a uh, hell of a doctor's appointment before I came in here. Wife went with me. I'm not sure why she went. Uh, she was very critical of everything, as she typically is wherever we are. She's extremely critical. In fact, I call her Critical Veronica. Now, we go to the dermatologist. I had a, a spot on my back. The black cat had a spot on his back, and we had to go get it checked out. I was like, well, about as big as like a nickel. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And Veronica was like, we, we thought maybe it'd be the cancer. And so we're like, man, we better go get this checked out. So we went to the dermatologist today. And uh, we found out that it is not cancerous. It is nothing of the sort by any means. There's no, look, Big G, don't worry. Big G, Patrick King, I see. Give us a warning for you remove the hat. <laughs> Look, I, I I didn't know, so I went in there and I thought maybe you know, like it was a it's about a nickel sized little bump on my back. I'm like, holy shit! So I go in there and the doctor looks at it. He's like, nah, it's nothing to worry about. It's uh, proteins, proteins. He's like, look, it it you, you're gonna get them your entire life, and everybody gets them. There's nothing you can really do. I was like, all right. So he's like, look, we're gonna give you 
Um, I had some problems with my feet, too. So he's like, I'm going to give you a steroid shot. So I got a shot of steroids before I came in here. I am fucking strong. Right now, I feel super strong right now. I got a shot of steroids. It's the first time I've ever taken steroids in my life, believe it or not. You're looking at me, you're probably like, this guy's a juice head. I'm not. Not a juice head, but I just took steroids. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty awesome right now. So I, I hope I don't get tested. Hopefully the league <laughs> does not test this week. Because I got to play on Sunday for the Browns. Hopefully they will not test me. <laughs> anyway, I get off track. I, I, I got this spot on my back. So the guy looks at it, he's like, I got cancerous. Veronica's is like, well, it's not staying on his back. So whatever you got to do, cut that fucking thing off. I'm like, oh, hold the fuck on here a minute. I was like, this thing is near my spine. I was like, I don't think I want a knife going anywhere near this thing. He's like, nah. It's like, we don't use knives anymore, dude. What are you, he's like, you back in the 1800s? It's like, we don't use knives. He used liquid nitrogen. I was like, Nick, liquid nitrogen, now, that sounds interesting. He's like, yeah. It's like, I spray that shit on it, it freezes it. I was like, well, that sounds painless. And, and that sounds like a perfect way to go. So I look at Ryan, I'm like, liquid nitrogen. Why didn't I think of that? That sounds absolutely. Did your ball shrink already, Bob? You know the answer to that. Anyway, so we go there. He's like, take your shirt off. So I'm like, fuck yeah, it's party. Let's take your shirt off. Took a shirt off. Standing there. He gets up behind me, and I, and I hear him with this, this thing. Well, he lays that son of a bitch into my back, and it felt like somebody was driving an ice pick into my back. And he's like doing it. I'm like, and I'm trying to, so it's a dude, right? So I'm not, I'm trying not to be like, you know, I don't want to be a wimp. I don't want to be like, oh my God, it hurts. Like, I can't do that. You know, guys, you can't do that. Like, I got to be like, all right, yeah, how's it going back there? Okay, everything good? Yeah. And like, meanwhile, Veronica's like, your face is turning beet red. Cause I was like, oh, it hurt. It literally felt like he's taking a nice pick, like driving it into my back. He did it for probably about a minute and a half. He's like, I think I got it. I was like, well, God, I hope so. So I stayed there. I put my shirt back on. I'm like, thank you, doctor. I was like, that's awesome. You know, fall off, I guess, or whatever. It'll kind of come off sooner or later. As soon as he shuts the door, I'm just like, oh. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, oh, my God. I was like, that fucking hurt so bad. You would not believe. She's like, dude. She's like, it looked like it hurt. I was like, it did. I was like, it's like 250 degrees below zero. If I can zap in you on, like, your back, in the center of your back. It was awful. Don't ever do that. EB vapes, let me tell you. If you ever have that, if it ever happens to you, don't when they say liquid nitrogen, be like, nah, I'll pass. I can pass on that. That shit sounds awful. All right, guys. Well, that is what's going on. I had a, you know, it's Monday. And and as all of you know, I love Mondays. And the reason I love Mondays is because it's a new week. And anything can happen this week. Anything good in my life. I could straight dripping, let me tell you something. I could win the lotto this week. I really could. You never know. So could you. Vape, vape with Ken. What's up, vape with Ken? He says, take your shirt off. Ken, you can get frisky. If you come on the show, I'll take your shirt off. Not a problem. <laughs> For you, absolutely. Look, anything can happen this week, guys. You could win the lotto, big G coils. You never know. So it's Monday, and we've got a fantastic week. I've got today, we are featuring the great Wombowski. Going to be fantastic. Tomorrow, Nick and I are going to do the first ever After the Shame Duel show. So if you remember Drop the Shame that Yeti and I used to do, we used to have a guest on every week and we talk about recovery and about our lives and about addiction and things like that. Well, this is going to be the first time we've done an After the Shame with somebody else. And Nick has at said he'll do it. So Nick and I are going to do an After the Shame. I am super excited. So if you're in recovery, if you think you have a problem or you know anybody who has a problem um, with alcohol or drugs, um, if you're a loved one of somebody, I, I really encourage you to join tomorrow. We're going to have some good fellowship and, and, and some fun times. We're not going to talk about the bad stuff. We're just talk about the, the good stuff, and, and we can all participate and talk about how great life is now that I'm not drunk, you know, every minute of my life. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. So really looking forward to that. Hey, Carrie, how you doing, man? Leave your shirt on. I get Carrie gives me new wave Dan 169. Leave your shirt on, Dave. <laughs> Carrie, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to be reviewing. I, I did a quick view of it yesterday. It is the Vit Vitality Mods Flatliner. And uh, I'll be honest, when I opened up and looked at the deck, I'm not going to show it to you again. So if you haven't watched yesterday's episode, watch it. I'm going to review it Wednesday. So if you can hold off till Wednesday, you'll get a full in-depth review and user experience from it. But uh, I, I, I saw the deck, and I was a little taken back. It's a big deck. And I was like, wow, I don't know what I'm going to feel about this thing. Let me tell you something. I put it in squonk mode yesterday. If you don't remember, you did see the episode yesterday. I put it into squonk mode before I got off the, uh, off, out of the episode there. And uh, I, was a little, I was wondering if it was going to work. Man, it's working fantastic. 
it's working fantastic in squonk mode. So I'm really happy with it um, so far. And I'm gonna bring you a review to that on that device on Wednesday. Thursday we're off, so there's no show on Thursday. Then Friday we're back with another edition of the Vape Hot Tub. So Vape Hot Tub Friday, five o'clock this week, we had Mad Viking Vapor, a new up and coming YouTuber. He's part of that TRV crew. And uh, just some, the Rising Vapors, if you didn't know what that meant. The Rising Vapors, uh, we had Spring on before, and I'm sure we'll go through Chad and all those guys sooner or later, but really excited to have Mad Viking Vapor on Friday. Just a great guy. Just a really good guy. If you don't know him, you should subscribe to his channel. We'll talk more about it on Friday. But just a really kind, nice guy. And, and knows a lot about vape. What? Who's your mommy? Who, who's my what? Listen, what? I got that shit working. You got it working? Yes, I did. How'd you get it working, Veronica? You can pay me later. Pay, pay you later. Pay you for. Pay you later. We have a, We got a new sound bar. What? And I. Veronica, would you like to come down and tell the story? Why don't you come down and tell the story instead of interrupting my show? No, because you suck. <laughs> she said you suck. <laughs> so anyway, we have we got a new sound bar for the TV. I've never had a sound bar before, but apparently it makes the TV sound louder. And I can never hear it. I always have the closed <laughs> If you come to my house, like you'll be like, why are the closed captions on? So like, I can't fucking hear it. So I put the closed captions on. I just read the captions on the fucking TV. Do you know anybody else who does that? I do. I like reading it because I'm like, eh, I can't really hear what they're saying. So read, I can tell what's going on in the show. So Veronica's was like, look, I'm going to get you a fucking sound bar so you could hear this shit. So I was like, bought a sound bar. And I was upstairs. I was telling her how to do it, you know, because I'm super smart and I'm going to tell you how to do things. And I did, obviously she did, she did not like the way I was telling her to do it. And I was like, well, if you do it that way, it's not going to work. I was like, that's fine. I was like, I'll go downstairs. Look, you do it. She got it working. But what she did was she called, I think she called the nerd, the geek squad. I was going to call them the nerd squad, the geek squad. I think she called them. I think they fixed it. All right, guys, why don't we go through it? We'll say hi to everybody. Uh, I know you guys love that. And then, and then we will start. Whoa, Nelly. Quite a few people here today. Thanks for joining. I'm coming closer and closer. Addy Tooney. I'm coming closer and closer to becoming the Lady Gaga of YouTube. I think I'm almost there. I literally think that I might be the... I, I, I think that literally... Now, we all know the Vape at Five is the number one show on the YouTubes. And it's not the number one show by statistics or views or likes or subscribes, or shares, or any of that. It's number one because I say it's number one. And it's my show, and I can say whatever I want, Addy Tooney. Great to see you, brother. I'm glad you're here. Addy, what's up, Addy? How you doing, man? Great to see you, sir. Super glad you are here. Thanks for joining. Adrian Daniels, that's a Browns fan right there. Adrian Daniels is, I think he's as big a Browns fan as I am. I, I do, and, and that's saying a lot. Because I am like a diehard, no matter what. I, and I told you, Adrian, let me tell you this. I am like the worst, like, unreasonable Browns fan there is like I am so unreasonable like they'll literally be like three and eight and I'll be like I can still make the playoffs I was like hey when these next five they're in they're in the playoffs and be like they're not going to win another game be like yeah they are they'll probably win all five that's that I'm completely unrealistic Billy what's up and Chilo, what's up man how you doing sir great to see you man I am super glad you were here black cat white face that's me got my back fucked up today man let me tell you that shit hurt it hurt like and i i'm not like a, i don't want to say like i'm not a wimp because i'm kind of wimpy in a lot of ways but like pain wise i'm like eh, you know i'm just kind of take it whatever this shit hurt it hurt worse than like you would think worse than going to the dentist I'm getting tooth pulled hurt more bones what's up bones i bones the skate in the house what's up bones how you doing man great to see you glad you're here cal's iron some man's million dollars well what's up cal's how you doing brother great to see you. charles mclaren i don't even need to say it fucking barren Great to see you. Glad you are here. Dave Flowers, what's up, Dave? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here, Mr. Evie Babes. Great to see you, Dave. Or Evie. Evie, sorry. Great to see you, man. Glad you are here. Fabian, what's up, Fabian? How you doing, Mr. Grill Hamster? Good to see you, brother. Glad you are here, Mr. Frankie Einstein. What's up, Frank? Out there running the chat, brother. How you doing, man? Oh, if you bought anything... Uh, if you got and won anything last week or got anything from me, the Turk stuff especially, that stuff should be getting there today. Your Turk stuff should be getting there today. If you want anything, it should be getting there tomorrow, and it may even get there today, just depending on where you live. If you're anywhere near like uh, Midwest, Central Ohio, then you're going to get it probably today. So be on the lookout for that. Frank, great to see you, man. Grady! So Grady? How you doing, man? Great to see you, sir. Super glad you're here. Ian Fu, 
What's up, Fu Manchu? Fu Man Yu? Good to see you. Jay is bored. Jay is bored. He's been gone a long time. He's back, and I'm super happy about it. Good to see you, Jay. I'm glad you're here, man. Joseph Sarah, my man. What's up, Joseph? How you doing, brother? Great to see you, sir. Glad you are here. There is uh, Carrie Tushet. I probably said it wrong, man. Thank you for the $2 donation. I appreciate it, brother. I will. Uh, I don't know what I'll spend it on, but I'll spend it on something awesome. And when I do, I'll think about you a lot. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Clayton, what's up, Clayton? How you doing, brother? Great to see you, sir. Super glad you're here. Living with the Hendersons. What's up, living with the Hendersons? How are you? Great to see you. Thank you for joining. If you're new to the channel, let me tell you, this is about as good as it gets. Well, I don't know. Friday's probably the best day. But like right here, what you're seeing, this is as good as it gets. But let me tell you, this is pretty goddamn good. I can just, just let you know that. It's great to see you, man. Glad you're here. Mike TVA. What's up, brother? Mike, how you doing, man? Great to see you, dude. Thank you for the support. You are awesome. Great to see you here. He had a show last night, Mike did. Mike, was, uh, Mike your show was uh, at 8 o'clock on Sunday on, uh, gotcha, I'm subscribed to him, so I can't remember what channel it was on. Uh, go ahead and put it in the chat, man. But that was a really good show. I watched some of it. You go on the same time as uh, Not Another Vape Show goes on. So there's a lot of people watching that, you know. So anyway, I, I switched back and forth and, and caught a lot of it, man. Great to see you. Glad you are here. Mr. Pebble, my bevel. Great to see you, Mr. Pebble. Glad you are here, sir. Nick Devine. There he is. Nick Devine. 83. He just hangs out. He's one of my boys. Nick's one of my boys. Nick, Nick have you, uh, listen. Have you guys seen Nick's hair lately? Nick's hair is fantastic. Have you guys seen it? Check it out. Ask him to take his hat off. He's got his hat on. Ask him to take it off. Or his million-dollar sunglasses. Those sunglasses he bought for a million dollars. Ask him to take them off. This, it's fantastic. His hair is fantastic. Now, Nick, I like it. I like your style. My uh, daughter-in-law is studying to be a cosmetologist. Now, if you need a haircut or anything, come to Columbus, Ohio. She'll cut your hair for you. It looks great. Look just like this. I have a comb over. That's the hairstyle I'm sporting now. The comb over. So what I do is I leave this part really long right there. So it comes over. Whoops, by the way. Comes over my bald spot. It's pretty cool. I like it. It works pretty well. I'm like, eh, I'm pretty close to going to a toupee. I'm pretty close. Like, I'm thinking maybe, like, this time next year, I'm just going to shave and get a toupee. And that way I can have any hairstyle I want. You know? I'll have one like Nick's. Nick! So find out if they can make a toupee like your hair. I'll get the exact same haircut. I think that'd be awesome. Great to see you, Nick. Glad you are here. Nick Fenton. What's up, Fenton? Great to see you, brother. Glad you are here, sir. Patrick King. What's up, King? How you doing, man? Great to see you, sir. I'm super glad you're here. Randall Hayes. What's up, Hayes? How you doing, man? Great to see you, dude. Thank you for joining. I am super glad you are here. Mr. Robert Riggin. What's up, Robert? How you doing, man? Good to see you, sir. I'm super... Double R. Double R. I like that. Good to see you. R squared. Good to see you, man. Glad you're here. Straight dripping. What's up, straight dripping? How you doing, brother? Great to see you, man. I am super glad you're here. Taxi Jim 71. What's up, James? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Where is my Mont Blanc? Taxi Jim 71 has a Shy Tots flavor like this one, but it's him, and it's Mont Blanc. So uh, it's fantastic. If you've never had Mont Blanc, this stuff is absolutely fantastic. Great to see you, James. I am happy you're here. Paint with Ken. What's up, Ken? I watched a video from you. I watched a video from you yesterday. It was pretty funny. I don't know if you're trying to be funny. I thought you were trying to be funny, but I was like listening to it at work. I was cracking up. I couldn't see what the guy was doing. That guy, I just ignore that guy. I completely ignore him. He's um, he's he's out there, man. He's out there. I just completely ignore that guy. Like I, I he don't in my little stupid world. That guy does not exist. But what you said was funny as shit. I was cracking up. Good to see you, Ken. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad you're here. Vito fifty five. Great to see you there. There he is. I don't know who this is. It's White Cat Black Dick. I have no idea who that is, but that's fucking hilarious. When I saw I saw him in, I think it was in Heavy's chat. I was like, that, that's fucking awesome. Welcome, White Cat Black Dick. I am super, that's, <laughs> I can only guess what he's saying in the chat. He's, <laughs> and I think, I looked at the picture, I believe that's Truckin' Vapes, the picture. So don't get trucking in trouble, man. Truck, trucking's not doing good. Prayers go out to you, brother. I hope you're feeling better, man. Absolutely. Uh, being in the hospital sucks. All right, I have talked. Perry Jackson, how you doing, Dan the man? Great to see Dragon's Breath. Dragon, I'm going to wear your shirt today. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. I got your shirt in my rotation, Dragon. It's fucking awesome. Big Boy Builds, what's up, Shane? How are you, sir? Great to see you, man. Super glad you are here. ID Vodka, Voco, what's up, man? How you doing, ID? Good to see you, man. And uh, let me see, did I miss anybody else? Lando, what's up, Lando? How you doing, man? Great to see you, Lando. He, Lando stole, Lando, you owe me. Lando Ryan, you hear that pounding? That's my wife cooking. 
We're, we're actually we're having a chicken Marcella tonight. Or no, chicken Tuscany. Chicken Tuscany tonight. Kids are coming over. I'm like, I'm literally, I'm already eating it. I'm thinking about it. We went to the store and got it before I came on. You guys don't care. <laughs> White cat, black dick. Very. <laughs> don't time him out, guys. Unless he says something like really bad. I think I think he's here to be funny, and I think that's fucking hilarious. All right, guys. Great to see everybody. What we're going to do so. This week's featured builder is the great Wombaski, and I've known him ever since I've been on YouTube. And um, actually, before that, he was one of the guys who was always in Nick's chat. When Nick first started, Nick Devine and Devine83, for those of you guys who don't know, when Nick first started doing live shows about three years ago, uh, there was a group of us who were in there, and I believe Womb was one of them in there with us. And uh, since then, I've gotten to know him, and I'll tell you, talk about somebody who's just very selfless and supportive of everybody else. The guy, whether it is building or YouTube or whatever, he's always there with a good comment, always there with telling you, you know, hey, man, you're doing a great job. I really appreciate you and things like that. And, and, and honestly, stuff like that, I know it matters to me. It matters to me, and, and it makes me feel good. And it makes me feel like, wow, if somebody really, you know, you feel like people appreciate what you're doing and trying to do, and I've always got that from him. On top of that, the guy's a phenomenal builder, and today I'm gonna to show you his work. We're gonna go through for about a half hour. This week, you're gonna be able to win coils from him, so stick around because I'm gonna tell you, well, I'll tell you now. You're gonna be able to win coils from him two times this week, once on Wednesday and once on Friday. To win them on Wednesday, what you're going to do is you're going to put a number between one and 150 in the comment section of this video episode. So wait until it's done and then come back to the video and put your comment in, okay? Wait till it's all done, uploaded, put in a number between one and 150 to enter for Wednesday's giveaway. For Friday's giveaway, you're going to repost a pic from his IG page with the hashtag Black Cat Fam. So you have to have Instagram. You'll go to the link below. The link is below to get to his Instagram page. Pick out a picture you like. Use the repost app to repost with the hashtag Black Cat Fam. We are nearing on 10,000 reposts with the Black Cat Fam hashtag. I can't fucking believe that, but that is how many times we've supported builders in this community. Almost 10,000 times. So give yourself a round of applause. That is phenomenal. Do that to enter on Friday, you'll win. Three sets of coils, Turk juice, you're gonna win uh, Holy Fiber. Wednesday, you're gonna win one set of coils, you're gonna win Shy Tatsy Liquid, you're gonna win the, my Black Cat juice, and you're going to win another bag of Holy Fiber. So, get entered. All right, guys, that is fantastic. Thank you guys for being here. Let's go ahead and switch it over and take a look at the great Wombowski. Let me move this over here. <coughs> Laptop monitor two. There we go. All right, guys, there he is. I don't know, can you hear that pounding, how annoying that is? That is going to annoy the living shit on me. All right. Great Wombatsky. So, link to his page is below. He's got 317 posts. Pretty good number. He's got almost 1,800 followers. If you're not following on Instagram, I, uh, I really encourage you to do so. He is a member of the Team Drill jockey uh, mentally molested by metal manipulation <laughs> all right so if you're not following make sure you get in there and follow him all right first build we're going to look at here oh there we go sorry guys <clears throat> so you've got a huge fuse uh frame staple bridged over in the goon 25 left the only put one post screw in. It's a pretty cool look. I like how you can see the the uh, build through the uh, post hole there. And actually, that doesn't look like a framed. That might just be a staple. Let's check this out. No, it's a frame staple. 228, 12 pieces of 0.4, 44 gauge or 40 gauge stainless steel. Rocking the bridge build. We call it that because you have the bridge from one side to the other. So it works as one giant single coil. All right, we've got a staggered in, very traditional looking staggered in, very well done. Fuse looks really great. Great color on that build. Absolutely gorgeous. I believe that, yeah, that's the Ardent. That is the Ardent RDA. Great color on that. He's got some beautiful gold into purple, and then that uh, blue back into the purple as well. 
Really sexy looking build there, man. Great job. Here we go with, so here he's got three different builds all in here, all paralleled next to each other. He's got a micro Clapton twisted, he's got a Clapton, and then he looks like he's got a braid in there as well. And I'm gonna say he's actually got four. I see a staggered, but I don't know. Is that an indented staggered in? That's what it is. That's an indented stagger, and that's actually sitting in the, he, so he's got that twisted in the indented staggered, staggered, and then he's paralleled that with a ribbon. So that's what that is. Very cool. Very cool, man, I like that. Sometimes it takes me a little bit to interpret what he's got. Beautiful alien, great color on that. Excellent build, nice little four core, single coil alien build. Three core, four wrap alien build. I believe that's the recurve, isn't it? Beautiful. Favorite build, you guys know his aliens. I love aliens, I love well done aliens. You can see he's got a nice turn on his alien there, nice, nice deep swoop. Sitting in the Goon 25. That's actually, sorry, that's the Goon LP with the upgraded deck post. If you've got a Goon LP, you've got to upgrade your deck post. Just got to do it. This is the Chaik and Elwood, the Blues Brothers. Nice deep blue on that. That's a four core alien there, guys, making it look super easy. Good turn on it. I want to say that's the Dead Rabbit RTA, maybe? Hell, I don't know. Beautifully done. Great color. Really sexy, man. Nice job. Here we go with a half pitchfork. So what he's got here is he's got two fuses. His first, he staggers one side of it. His first fuse is going to be around this looks like a uh, three core can't really tell and then his far fuse there is on an open piece of uh, round wire good consistency all his lines are parallel which is what you're looking for great install nice build let's see if we can get a close-up of that one here we go this is a uh, different no so here we go with a braid beautiful braid sitting in the warrior rda paralleled with a clapton Great. I, that braid is beautiful. Very well done. Nice and tight. Really well done, Woon. That's a nice build, man. Sometimes just a nice, you know, this is the kind of stuff I look at mostly. I mean, there, you know, it's great to look at a lot of the more complex stuff, but sometimes just a simple alien like this here, sitting in the Rebirth RDA, is as beautiful as it gets, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Now you know, this is my RDA, and I'm gonna tell you, you've gotta move those coils away from that airflow. You don't wanna muffle that airflow. You wanna move those up and close together. You want those two coils to basically act like one. That's just my suggestion, but that's, I love vaping that RDA. Beautiful build, man. Look at the nice swoop he's got on his alien there. Nice turn. Beautifully done, sir. Here we go, the little uh, wire porn. So, what you have here is a stable stagger fuse clapton variation with a binary and a corrugated. So, what he's got um, from inside out, two pieces of ribbon to the left of that ribbon. He's got a binary piece over a staple with another piece of round wire here. On the far or right side of it, he's got a corrugated piece that framed in with two pieces of ribbon on either side and then staggered and fused. Let me ask what the hell is going on upstairs. Hey, Veronica! Here she comes. She's going to yell at me. Yeah. Hey, what's going on up there? Huh? What's going on up there? Slaving for you over the stove. Uh, nobody, you didn't, you didn't hurt somebody, did you? No. Nobody got hurt? Are, are you sure? Okay, nobody got hurt. Good, good. Tommy Vapors, what's up, man? How you doing? Jeff Lawson. What's up, Jeff? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Jerba, Jamal Drew and Turbinetta. What's up, man? Good to see you guys. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Beautiful wire porn there, guys. That is absolutely gorgeous. 
Here's another one with a little binary action. Again, over a staple, you got a binary piece over top of it, which is a piece of round wire corrugated and laid over top of. In this case, it's going to be a staple. Could be a piece of square wire or ribbon, whatever you want to use. Push pop. Push pop. Push pop. What? I just I didn't say your name. I was done speaking to you. Huh? I was done speaking with you. Stable stagger fuse clapped in variation binary. You have the binary in the middle, two pieces of ribbon framed on either side, and staggered and fused. Look how tight his fuse is. And that's as tight as it gets. That is just excellent stagger. Beautifully done. Great wire porn. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is that's magic to me, man. Got a Fralian alien, so ribbon alien beautifully done look at the color on that that is at how many likes do you get you got 206 i might repost that that is gorgeous man that is that's as that to me is as good as it gets that literally right there i that's as good as that's a good of a build as it gets to me i mean beautiful color great turn on it perfect spacing that's absolutely gorgeous that is absolutely gorgeous here we got the little wire stash here Got that binary we looked at before, an alien. Here's a half stag, one of my favorite builds. Basically all that is, that might be a Clapton he's got it over. You just stagger one piece of wire, throw something next to it, and just fuse it. Called a half stag. Fantastic vape. If you're going to make a Clapton or a fused Clapton and you got a little extra time, stagger one side and make that. It's super easy. You can run the wire straight down. It'll take. It'll follow that pattern. And it's a, it's a phenomenal vape. Phenomenal vape. Under here, he's got some frame staples. Beautifully done. I'm not a big frame staple guy, though. I'll admit. I, I think the ribbons pack too tight together for me. Here we go with a star build. Indented stagger and then the star over top of it. Took a uh, basically a really small staple and corrugated it. And then inside it, caged that, which cage build because it connects the two. Here is a braid. And I can smell the food cooking upstairs, which is making me super hungry. Look at that. Beautifully done. Looks like he's got a space Clapton over square wire, maybe? Then he helixed. He did a uh, Clapton and round wire twist and then helixed it with another piece of round wire. Great color on that. Beautifully done, man. Absolutely gorgeous. I am loving the vape off of this flat liner. Another alien there sitting in the, looks like the dead rabbit is what I'm guessing. I don't know that, I'm pretty sure. I don't have use that RDA anymore though. I don't know. Uh, binary. Oh no, excuse me. Corrugated. Staple stagger fuse clapped and corrugated. Stay, uh, inside you start the corrugated piece, framed it with two pieces of ribbon on either side, and then staggered and fused the frame. Sitting in the Goon 25. Beautiful color on that. That's a raw picture too. He didn't enhance the color at all. So you're looking at exactly what that looked like and that's gorgeous. A lot of times you'll see the colors really pop. It's because you enhance them, but that's a straight shot. That is absolutely gorgeous. Here we go. Very cool. Got the corrugated frames, corrugated piece. Surrounded with two pieces of ribbon on either side, then framed in with round wire. Four fuses after he added the two corrugated pieces for the frames. Really well done. That is gorgeous wire form right there, guys. That is absolutely gorgeous. Beautifully done, Wim. What am I looking at here? Not exactly sure. A little abstract type photo there. Oh, you know I gotta look at the interlock. Oh, that's a stitched alien. Stitched for alien. So round wire framed in with six pieces of ribbon. Then alien, he stitched it and fused it. Beautifully done. Looks like 36 gauge alien, 40 gauge fuse, a 40 gauge sti stitch. And it's like Diablo said, very clean, bro. Super clean. Gorgeous. Look at this. 
fat enigma sitting next to a mohawk alien. That's a super fat enigma. And I believe he has a corrugated piece in there. That's why you see the opening between that ribbon. That is really cool and very difficult to do. Hey, Clint, how you doing, man? Very, very difficult to do. And the reason being is you can't exactly tell how big that core is going to be when you put that corrugated piece in there. So you kind of got to guess. And he does a phenomenal job here with that Enigma. For you builders out there, if you're just getting into building, the Enigma is one of your signature builds that you got to get. And it'll take you a little bit, but once you get it, man, it is a really fun build to do. Yeah, he's got a corrugated piece in there. That's pretty fucking impressive. Another reason why that's so difficult is those, those dual interlock there for the Enigma want to collapse that core really, really badly. So to get it to stay open like that with the corrugated piece in there, is it takes a very delicate touch, a very delicate fuse, and he does a fantastic job. Great color, beautiful shot. That's gorgeous, Wu. Beautifully done, sir. A little wire porn for you here. Half pitchfork again, corrugated piece, three pieces of ribbon on either side. One side he staggered and then fused it with an open piece, making it a half pitchfork. To make it a full pitchfork, you would add another piece and then fuse it, stagger and fuse the other side. Extremely pain in the dick build to do. Felix, twisted frames, then you go ahead and alien it in the uh, gaps here or in the grooves of those twisted frames. Looks like he did half and he did one side, so it's a half fuse, half Felix. The other side is not twisted, it's just open flat wire, open square wire. Or is it twisted square wire? It might be. I oh, can't wait. See if you give me another picture of it. Little interlock alien there. One of my favorite builds, and let me tell you something. An interlock for alien is about one of the best vapes you'll ever vape in your life. It is phenomenal. Don't let anybody tell you that there's not a difference in builds because there really, really is. Hey, Lab Works. How you doing, man? Just take that in, guys. Take in how beautiful that is. Beautiful aliens, beautiful color on that build. Absolutely gorgeous. I think that's the old school. Huh, I want to say, I have to see the side of it. I thought that was actually the Goon OG because of those screws, but I don't think it is. Another stitched alien sitting in the rebirth. Gorgeous, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Here we go. Dressing it up a little bit. All kinds of stuff going on here. This might have been for a build off. Interlock for alien teeth. How cool is that? All kinds of awesome stuff going on there. Very cool, man. That's awesome. Here we go. This, I'll tell you, he's really perfected his braids. That's gorgeous, man. I love that, his logo. Very cool. Diamond back braid. Okay. I'm not, I don't know much about braids. And you guys know that. Hey, Big Red Vapor Channel. How you doing, man? Suka, traditional Suka. Oh, alien Suka. Okay, all right. I can, yeah, okay, now I see the, t the twist on it. Beautiful color on that, great build. Fat one, too. That's about 10 pieces of ribbon he's got in there. Uh, at least eight, maybe 10. That's a fat alien Suka, man. Just loving that. He's got it in the rebirth again. Beautifully done.
stovetop alien. I think this is the original alien. If I'm, let me see here, 126, 28 gauge, and 90. So this is the original alien that um, Goon did. I believe that's what he's going for here. And he wrapped it like Goon did as well. So this is homage to uh, to Goon, the Blue-Eyed Goon. Blue-Eyed uh, Blue Goon's original alien was not a tricore. It was a one-core. And I, I think it might have been 26, 28. I'm not sure. But this is homage to that. And he did put it in a stovetop. So that's what that is, guys. And it's beautifully done. That's one build I should do one day, is just do this build. It's, I, I've never done it, but it would be fun to try. I've never aliened with 28 gauge before. Close up pick of that Suka. Beautifully, man. Look at the twist on the turn on that ribbon. Absolutely gorgeous. You can get these builds here, if you take your time with them, Oh, that ribbon, you can get just some really gorgeous color. Really gorgeous color on it. And it really does look nice when you start taking photos of it. Beautifully done. Golem RDA, another alien, six wrap. Great turn on the alien, great color. Guy is a pro, man. Absolute pro. Staggered square wire, it looks like. Twisted or ribbon and then staggered square wire. Twisted. Something a little different here. He's got a really, really nice stagger on it, though. Great spacing on the stagger. Didn't lose any of it when he twisted it together. Really well done. He paralleled it with a piece of round wire. Looks like that's probably 26 gauge. That's very cool, man. I think it's two stacks staggered. That isn't square wire. So that's two staggered stacks he twisted together. Very cool. Okay. Staple stuffed double indented monstrosity. So it's a indented stagger but he inserted a staple in it which i've never seen anybody do that that is pretty cool that is really cool man i love the look of that here we go some micro aliens wonder what the specs on these are n90 32838 wow it looks smaller than that I didn't realize the goon 25 was that big so 28 gauge aliens n90 which is a pain in the dick to work with as you guys all know. Look at this handsome bastard. Look at that handsome bastard there. When we post in, do you vape at five? Trying to get the word out about the show. I'm trying to be famous, guys. I'm trying to be famous as much as I can. Pitchfork. Traditional. Corrugated piece in the middle. He's got it framed with two pieces of flat or two pieces of ribbon. First fuse, uh, two pieces of ribbon on his first fuse. He then cuts it in half, puts it together, and his set last fuse is way across. That's a long fuse, man. Really well done. Things to look for is you want this first and second fuse to be parallel. He does a really good job with that. Great color. And again, that is a really long fuse. Looks like he might have got the ribbon over it in some spots, maybe, or maybe blended together. So beautifully done though. I love that build. Looks great. Sitting in the Gollum RDA. By Big G. Or excuse me. Not Big G. Mike Mike Big D Coils. And yeah, Big D right there. Big D Coils. Featured builder. We featured Mike. I think last year around this time. Around when the Gollum came out. Warrior RDA. Some beautiful Fralian sitting in there. Raymo to you was also somebody who helped with that Gollum RDA. Enigma. Look, he switched up the different alloys, given different colors. So cool. That's hard to do too. You're not supposed to. Uh, you're not supposed to do a um, force parallel or a uh, what's it called? 
where you parallel with another wire. You're not supposed to use different wire, but he did and it worked. That's fantastic. All right, we got one more to look at and then we'll bring it back up top. Look at that Stagman's. That's a sexy shot. Oh, through the eye hole there. Staggerton, very, very cool. Wow, look at that. Using uh, four to six pieces of six pieces of ribbon, staggered and fused. That's gorgeous, man. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's bring it back up top, and we will talk a little bit about the great Wombaski. Back up. What's up? Back up top with Black Cat chilling out thanks everybody all right that dude womb phenomenal job man absolutely phenomenal thank you so much for being featured this week you're an ace dude i, I i'll tell you I, I look forward to seeing your comments every single day and uh, the support that you've given me and given this channel you've been around since the beginning you know i started this channel uh back in i believe april of last year and uh, there's a few of you guys who've been around the whole time and stuck with me and supported me. Womb's definitely one of those guys. So glad we could we could showcase you this week, and I could return the favor a little bit of how much support you've been for me. On top of that, some phenomenal builds, man. You're so talented, and it's such a thrill to be able to show off your work. Also, but the biggest thrill is for you guys, because you guys are the ones who are going to win his coils this week. You've got two chances. I already mentioned it. You got a chance to win on Wednesday. You're going to win a set of coils from him. You're going to win a bottle of uh, Cat's Whiskers Shy Tatsy liquid, and you're going to win a bag of the best cotton. It's not even cotton. It's uh, fiber, holy fiber, best wicking material there is on the market. You're going to win a bag of that. On Friday, you're going to win three sets of coils, a bottle of Turk juice, and another bag of holy fiber to win. Wednesday, you're going to put a number in today's episode after it uploads, put in a number between 1 and 150, all right? Number between 1 and 150 to win on Wednesday. Close to the number without going over wins on Wednesday. To win on Friday during the Vape Hot Tub, you're going to go to the Great Wombaski's page. The Instagram page is linked below. You're going to repost a pic with the hashtag BlackCatFam at the Great Wombaski. Let's get to 10,000. We're close. We're over 9,000 now, so let's get close. Well, it's close to 9,000, so we're about 1,000 away. So let's get there. Hey, Chevy, man. Jane, what's up, Jane? How you doing, honey? DIY down under. How you doing, honey? Great to see you. No, Matt, Jeff, no numbers in today's. No, you got to wait until the uploads and then put numbers in. You guys know this. Jeff, you know this. You guys are fucking with me. Jeff laughed. <laughs> Gunther put in 151. But you remember 151, the booze? 151, liquor? Oh my God. Bacardi 151. That stuff was fucking evil. People light it on fire. Remember that? My drill. My drill. This is the one that I used lately. It's a, it's a corded drill. This is my cordless. That's my corded drill. I put these, uh, these things right here are by, uh, what is it? Beatalon, Beatadon, whatever fucking I put them on there. So when you, when you zap it, it'll hold it. You tighten them up and it'll hold it for you. It's still plugged in. I probably should unplug it. Yeah. That's my, that's the drill I used like for like the last year. Before that, I used a cordless when I was doing more stagger builds and stuff like that. When I wanted to be a little bit more controlled, the speed, when you use a corded drill, you can't slow it down. It just runs. So you got to kind of time it. But I, when you're doing aliens and stuff like that, you can use a corded drill. Gorilla fart. 151 in wild turkey. That sounds off. Great to see you, Pippa. Thank you for joining, hon. Covered in chicken grease. You know what? I'm having uh, I'm having Tuscan chicken tonight. Chicken Tuscan, eh? I don't know if I can know. One of the two. I'm having that tonight. I'm super excited. It's phenomenal. Vapor High, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? My brother from another mother, Mr. Vapor High, another member of Build Mafia, greatest the greatest build team on on earth. We are. I voted and and, and I proclaimed us the greatest 
build team member. Great to see you. How you doing, Rye? Rye, let me tell you, Rye has put in some work for Shy Tots that I am so proud and so happy to, to see. Um, if you go to Vaporize page on Instagram, he has got some of the most beautiful pictures I've seen. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And a lot of it's uh, of Shy Tots e-liquid. And I hear there's going to be a picture of mine up there pretty soon, which I'm really excited about. I will repost that a hundred times. <laughs> about time you build something, says Addy. Goddamn right. What do I need to build for? Literally. These are just the extras that people send me. So if you send me extras more than the six sets, they go here. The rest of them go into my inventory, which my inventory now is huge. My inventory now is huge. I have pretty much, you name the builder, I've got their coils. Pretty much. I, there's, there's a couple that I may not have, but uh, yeah, I've got a lot. So I don't need to build. You guys build for me. Right now, I vape basically... Uh, Tame Dragon, I vaped for a long time. Um, he sent me some inter two sets of interlocks, and I vaped one of those sets. I still got the other one. And Clint Johnson. Clint Johnson's coils I've been vaping a lot of. These are actually Yetis. These are Yetis coils. I still have a bunch of Yetis coils. Second greatest. Second greatest. Second greatest builder? Huh. <laughs> that's it you're gone i don't know <laughs> who's arguing in there but i know that i got chicken tuscany coming i'm fucking excited as hell you see yours are in there addy yeah so what i do is when i get a wick i can just grab one out and use it yeah and then i got clint sent me these stainless steel little bangers here that i keep here and then here's clint's uh really nice ones his sukas and stuff are in there I don't vape those though, but I get them out. <coughs> Wanda coils. Remember Wanda? Whole bucket of Watofas. <laughs> Watofa Wanda. Watofa Wanda, she went home. I sent her back. I sent her back to East Asia. She went back. I got, you know, I got her plane fare to go back, so she's not building my coils anymore. That started. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, you know what, dude? I, 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 not hand to God. I did not start the coil, the feature builder thing for any other reason than, I mean, it's twofold to grow the channel and to feature builders. I mean, I'll be honest. It was to grow the people. I wanted people to grow the channel and I needed something. And I was like, I'll feature builders. But the support I've got from the community and everything, it, you know, features builders and people like it and everything. I never really thought of having coils. I never really thought of using any of them. Um, but now I do. Now I do. And I never really thought that would be like my replacement for building, but it is. And I'm just, I'm really blessed. I haven't had the cake yet, Carl. I have not. I, I had a bunch of it. I sent it all out. I had a bunch of it and I sent it all out. I didn't keep any for myself. I, I will. I, um, I really like the Turkish blend and the Turkish harvest a lot. And, um, I've been vaping cat's whiskers literally this for like about a week now. That and Turkish Harvest. I've been vaping, so I haven't tried the cake yet. So when I open a bottle, I vape the whole thing and then then go to the next one. So I'll get a bottle of cake. I'll ask him to send me a few, get a, get and try it. I'm excited. I love lemon vape, so I'm sure I'm gonna love it. Drag his breath. There he is. I know you are, Billy. I'm just saying. It's, I, it's kind of, I didn't do it intentionally, but, it, you know, it kind of worked out that way. Kind of worked out that way. Left you with a clunky plug-in drill, yeah. I still have my, I don't know where it's at. I use it around the house, though, for fix stuff, fixing stuff. I'm a fixer. You guys know this. I fix stuff. That's what I do. I fix things. Order bottle hasn't come. I, I can't wait. J Jeff said cake is tasty. Everybody who ordered it should have got it today or tomorrow. So if you ordered it, it should be there. Except for C, Selena. She's not. Hers probably won't get there until like Christmas. I sent it on Saturday. I had my own custom Fresh Air 3 juice he made for me. It's a blueberry vape. He sent me a huge bottle. I vaped the whole thing. It was so good. Joseph, what's up, dude? Johnny Drips, another Build Mafia member. He's just here to say poop. 
poop. <laughs> Johnny, love you, man. Good to see you, brother. Baker Mayfield MVP. God damn right. Let's hope. Let's hope, man. If he gets MVP, they're making the playoffs. Hell, they may win the division if he gets MVP. I mean, if he plays that well, should have ordered more, yeah. Let me see. Uh, Dragon's Breath, let me check where you're at, brother. Let me do that real quick. Yeah, you're next. Yep, you are next, sir. We got uh, Dragon's Breath next week. Call me Mr. Rhino Raps, Clint Johnson, and Fabian. I've got about, I think, four people sending right now. So we're gonna once I get those, we're done. Summer's done, and we're into we're gonna be past September and October once everybody else gets here. Also, Fire Ant. If you know Fire Ant, Fire Ant sent me coils. He's gonna get featured. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna add him. I'm gonna add him now. I'm gonna add him now. He's gonna go after Fabian. Oh, these are my letters. I keep all my letters here for my scrapbook. All the letters you guys send me, I keep. For my scrapbook. So when I'm feeling down, I can look back and be like, these people think I'm on. Okay. So Fire Ant is getting added after Fabian. So if you run into him, I don't know if he knew he's gonna be featured, but he's getting featured. So we're gonna go B he will be eight no, God, I'm in the I'm almost done with September. 916. He will be 923. So if you talk to him, let him know. He's getting featured. Hey, Brian Feeney. What's up, dude? I can smell that food cooking upstairs. I'm so hungry. It smells so good. A and B coming from deep cuts. There you go. UK survive. Hi, Ian Thomas. How you doing, man? Big G, I haven't gotten yours yet. You're at it until as soon as I get your stuff. I haven't got it yet. Yeah, you're, I mean, yeah, I, should it have been here already? I don't have it. You're not on the list. Damn our geography, yeah. I'll tell you, Australia's the longest. Australia is by far the longest. UK is usually about a week. I get stuff over to the UK about a week, but New Zealand, my God, I sent Selena something, she don't get it for three weeks. Three weeks. So if I mess something up in her order, which I haven't yet, thank God, but if I do, then it's three weeks there, and I gotta get it again, send it back. It's like a two month process, it fucking sucks. Oh, the flat line. Yeah, Flatline's great, man. I'm really, really enjoying it. Squonkin' fantastic. Can't get through the mini blinds. Oh man, sorry to hear that, dude. Good, Brian, I'm glad you got it, man. Hope you enjoy that. You got the Turk in there too, didn't you? Didn't you get Turk too? Yeah, you're gonna love it, dude. I love that RDA. I fucking love that RDA. It's phenomenal. It's a great mech RDA too. It looks sexy as hell sitting on a mech. It's a great RDA. Welcome, Charles. I I'm really hope you guys enjoy it. Glad I could do that. If you're in the Patreon, I got a couple sales up right now. One for the Ruby 21, and the other is for the um, the new. It's a uh, series uh, 821700 box. I, believe, I forget the damn name of it. The Mega, the Dana, something like that. But it's from Vapor's Cloud. So that looks, I'm actually gonna get one. I'm gonna get one of those. It's a dual, so it's basically a stacked 21700 box. It's fucking sweet. Rebirth, you wanna put your coils away from the, uh, on, your rebir on the rebirth, move the coils away from the airflow. Move them as close together in the middle as you can. Sandy K, TR Raid. We got a raid. Welcome, TR Raid. Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Got about two more minutes, guys. I really appreciate you guys joining. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'm live four times a week at five o'clock. Hey, TR, how you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Let me make sure I subscribe to you for performing a raid on me. I appreciate it, my man. 
There we go. Thank you, TR. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Where are all these TR? It's a raid. So they do these raids. Some channels do raids. It's fucking awesome. You get a bunch of subscribers, which is what I need. Fantastic. Al Ben, what's up, man? All right, guys. I'm getting out of here. I appreciate everybody for joining. You guys are the best. We'll be live again tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Tomorrow is a recovery day. So we're going to do a recovery show. Nick and I are after the shame. We're going to talk about recovery. And again, if... um. You're in recovery. If you're not in recovery, you just want to learn about it. If you have somebody in your family who's in recovery or somebody in your family who may have a problem, um, join us. You can ask questions. We'll try to answer the best we can. We're not doctors or psychologists or anything like that, but we are recovering addicts, and we have worked recovery, and uh, we're sober. So we can give you what we did to do that. So friends, family, anybody, or if you're somebody who's using and you know you're sick of it and you don't want to do it anymore, then show up. We'll talk to you about it. And uh, can give you some pointers and things that we did to ha that helped us. And, and you get at least get a community of people that you can count on. Because anybody in recovery is always there for somebody else in recovery. So, all right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Tonight on the YouTube, you have some fantastic shows. You have uh, the, at Vaping with the Omies is on at 8 o'clock. At 9 o'clock, you have uh, over on, gosh, what's his name? Mountaineer Vapes. Oh, I, I'm bad with names anymore, man. Sorry about that. Mountaineer Vapes show at 9 o'clock. Tune in for that, him and Phoenix Vapor. That will be a fantastic show. I'll see you guys in the chats of those. Have a fantastic night. I'll see you tomorrow.